Howdy folks and welcome back to Old School Studios. This is uh, one of our buildings. There's 19 units or 20 units. The boilers are out. I'm not a big boiler guy. But I am going to try to figure out why they're not lighting. We've remodeled all the common areas of this building. Okay, I did unit one. I did the next one over. Unit two. I don't know what the hell happened to this door. This is like, what the? I did this one, unit two. It's my storage room. Washers and dryers. We had the Speed Queen. Uh, These people um, figured out how to steal our Speed Queen washers and dryer usage for free. Here's the break, here are all the uh, meters of the building. So anyway, here's our boilers. They were both wet. This one is wet because I don't think the guy up above has a shower curtain and it's dumping on there. This one was wet. I had this bolt was loose, this one was loose, this was loose, and this was loose. And it was drip, 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 drip. And uh, actually these were loose too. This one, the one down below and on the other side. And they were dripping onto this, which was dripping onto this. This is a flame roll-off switch. I actually tried, I put a jumper in there with a little piece of wire and you could diagnose if it's, that's the problem or not by pulling these little speaker wires off and jumping them together. It's a safety, this is an interrupter. So it didn't work, so I put it back together. But the little button right here in the middle doesn't feel correct. Neither does the one on this side, though. And I can't really get back to it. The camera right here. That's my hand is like in the back of the boiler. So I got this high-powered fan blowing it out. I cleaned um, the uh, the flame tube and the flame, well, the flame rod and the flame rod. I had both of those out and I cleaned them with sandpaper. I'm throwing on this one an Air 57 and on this one I'm throwing an Air 5. But when I turn them back on, after they sit for like 10 15 minutes, this one is flowing, throwing a different air. It threw air 64 which says safe lockout internal caused by general electronics failure such as a relay open or shorted contacts flame sensor circuit error or D A and D error whatever the fuck that means so I need to get some heat in this building, and um, the first thing is just trying to dry these out. Both of them were wet internally, and um, when I go to turn them on, I'll be back at you. So I dried this thing out, and I monkeyed with a bunch of wires, and I went to start it, and it tried to start, and it, and it has a, this thing right here has, the damper opens up manually. I see. I heard this thing go eh, and turn it open the damper for the exhaust, and then it shut off. And I'm like, well, wait a minute. And it was throwing a different code. It was throwing code um, S A S T A one. Boiler is not seeing heat request. Check thermostat or zone wire for loose connection. So I'm like, okay, thermostat wires low voltage wires. I'm like what's up with the low voltage wires? This is the low voltage thermostat wires 
white and red, white and red, white and red. So I started tapping on this, and I started tapping on this, and a bunch of white dust fell out of here. And I tapped on it, and I tapped on it, and it tried to start, and it started, and then it went off. And then it tried to, it said in the instructions here that it would try to start six times. And like on the third try, it, it lit, it stayed lit. Now technically, only one of these is needed for this whole, whole building. It's, it's running hot water with these circulation pumps through the whole building. One of them is a backup. So for right now, everyone is going to start getting hot, not, it's not air, it's um, radiant. Everyone's apartment is going to get radiated heat from the copper pipe. It's lit. That baby's lit. Oh, another thing I did is I shut off the gas and then turned the gas back on. Let's try it on that one. I did try it, but I didn't want to sit for any length of time. <laughs> I can't find a reset button to shut off. And now, I mean, one of those breakers is turning both of these on, so I don't want to shut that one off. While it's running, I want to heat up the building. Then I thought they weren't starting because the doors weren't on, but they don't have those buttons that click. And it was just kind of ironic. I put this the front plate on and it lit while and I was like, there's no, there's no wire behind here. These little clips, there's no wire, so it's actually not doing anything unless it's I don't I don't understand. Now, why isn't this one on? Maybe it's still wet inside? back at you. This thing is turning off and on about every 10 minutes. I don't know if that is regular. I never paid attention. It's on right now. It was just off. <sighs> This one is still uh, erroring, erroring out at error code 5. I don't want to turn the breaker off because this one is working. So it's kind of like putting me in a pinch where I can't even mess with this one because for some reason number 1 and 2 are on the same breaker. I'm actually going to take this off and see what's going on in there. Okay, that was a different one. I guess three of them were loose. So I went through all these again, made sure these are all nice and tight in there. So then, both of my boilers are going on to one 15 amp breaker for some reason. It's marked one and two. I don't know what this is, but it's not the boiler. So, I grabbed on this black wire and pulled it right out. It was not even in there, so I pulled this breaker and rewired that. But I'm still getting an error.
This one will not light. This one's lit. Seems to be all good. Try it out. 